In this episode, guys, I'm going to teach you how to build a custom headlight. Let's go. Okay, so the basic things that you're going to need if you want to build a custom headlight for your bicycle, you're going to need one of these chargers, and I will put the description for these. Uh, you get them off of eBay. Um, I'll put a link down there in the description so you guys can click on that if you need them. Only warning I can give you for these they are cheap little china chargers do not charge them inside your house these have been known to set on fire so if you overload it that's what's going to happen next thing you're going to need is one of these batteries these are usually uh they're made more for helicopter rc helicopters but they're they're tiny enough to tuck inside of the headlight housing so I don't have to show you how to wire that up, but that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, I know they have been a little bit scarce on eBay, but I'll find the link and I'll also attach that. So those are your two things you're gonna need. You want some electrical tape, some heat shrink. Um, you're gonna want a bulb, some type of LED. Um, it's up to you on what you want to use. If you're pretty proficient in using a soldering iron and you're good at, with LEDs, this won't be a problem for you. Um, I had picked this up off of Amazon. I used it in my other headlight and it came with two of them. So I've got another one. I'm only going to use the center section, not the halo. I know that you can wire these up on a different switch, but that's for somebody else. I'm going to show you a basic headlight. There are guys out there that can make some killer headlights if you want to buy one. Um, if you don't feel that you can do it, go after them and they'll help you out. Um, but there's probably five or six guys that make some really awesome bicycle headlights. I'm just showing you basic stuff, okay? So a headlight like this, I got this off Amazon. It's super bright. Um, you do have to kind of bend the mounting bracket to get it to fit into your headlight and you are gonna do just some modification to the actual headlight. Next, you need your headlight. You can get a domed headlight like this. You can get the uh, chrome one. They sell those at Harbor Freight. Um, they're big, huge headlights and they're pretty cheap. You can buy those. This one I got off eBay. Um, I do like these ones because they have the side bolts like you see here so that you can run your uh, motorcycle style brackets that come off of your triple tree if you're using a triple tree. Um, so you're gonna need your headlight bucket, everything should come in the bucket. This one is a little more fancy than most, but you're getting the idea. So also another link that I'll put in the description for you is how you're gonna connect your battery to your headlight. This is your charger. This is your connector to the, uh, to the actual power. So you want to order you some of the female connectors so that you have an easy plug. Um, you can hardwire it if you want it, if you want to splice it and hardwire it and just leave your battery in there and maybe uh, make yourself a spot like this one will have a little hole where this will poke out so I can charge it. But I'll tell you now, these batteries last forever. Like I charged it, I charge my battery like once a year, but I also don't ride much. So, um, so real quick here, Now you got your headlight glass. So, I know you're asking, I'm supposed to stick that bulb in here. Yes. You're going to remove the factory stuff because this isn't, these aren't LEDs. These aren't gonna work. These are standard light bulbs. So they are gone. Take them out. No longer needed. You are going to be chopping all of this stuff up um, all right, you're not going to need any of this anymore. This, don't need it. Not an LED. If you can find an LED that'll go in there, then you don't have to do any of this and you just leave it the way it is. What I'm going to have to do is cut all this off in order to get that bulb to sit down in there. And then there's a bracket that comes with it that I'll have to bend. You can use hot glue. That's also another, if you use enough of it, um, you can use uh, any type of super glue or anything that'll help stick that in there. 
because once it's in and the battery is mounted in there, it can't really go anywhere, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, figure out a way to mount the headlight, and then I will go over all the wiring and stuff like that. It's a really simple wiring diagram uh, to a toggle switch that you're going to want to put somewhere on the headlight bezel. Again, super easy stuff. So let's cut this off and then we'll get onto that. Okay, so that was a quick hyperlapse because in some cases your headlight, you're gonna to need to remove the glass. If you can't remove the glass, then you can't cut a hole in this. So as you can see, this would slide in here. It's just a little bit too big. So that's what I'm gonna cut out. And I wanna make sure that I cut it out just enough so that the headlight sits in there like this. And then I can use something on the back of it to hold it in place. And like I said, hot glue works just fine. Get artsy and craftsy with it and see what you come up with. All right guys, so I clip, I just, all I did on this one is actually just needed to cut the actual main ring off. As soon as I did, that fit right in there. So now you can see exactly how that's gonna look inside. Then you'll attach your glass back on and you're done other than getting this to mount. Um, this did come, is another style headlight if you guys like I said, you can use anything. These are different mounting brackets. Um, you can always drill holes in the side if you want to do this style and then rib nut it. I just found it easier just to buy ones that were already done that way. Um, so last headlight I did, this came with a bracket like this. And there's little holes on the side already. So what I did was I bent this, cut what I needed, bent it down so that it kind of hugged the metal. And that seemed to work really well. Um, that's one way to do it. Like I said, you can also go, I could take this and just hot glue it to death and it'll stay. It's not gonna go anywhere. Super glue, hot glue, whatever. But if you ever need to change the bulb, you're not gonna be able to. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on making this bracket work. Um, I think there's some bolts in here somewhere, but see if I can make this work and then we'll kind of go from there. So on here guys, you can see I had to improvise a little bit. Um, I didn't have a hot glue gun, couldn't find one, but I had hot glue sticks, so I just melted it on there. I'm gonna let that dry. The, on this one, the light would stick too far into the cup. So it was actually pushing the bulb out. So what I did was I laid it down, I let the bulb touch the base here, and then I laid in some hot glue, and I also did lay in some super glue on the inside before I laid down the hot glue, just to give it some extra um, um, this is already trimmed down ready to go and this is what's going to connect to your battery so you're going to go from red to the switch from the switch to this one and then black runs together so your black will stay together the only one splicing off is your red and that's going to go to your switch then to your battery and I'll, I'll have a diagram uh, drawn out for you okay so next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to drill out a spot for your switch. So get yourself some type of toggle switch that'll work just fine. Uh, this one has, this has three prongs. You don't necessarily need that unless you're going to have a high beam. So this could help with that. So you have your low beam off high. This is not, this is what I have laying around. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the hot glue worked just fine. Give you some some type of JV weld or something that you can put this glass back together and once I get this on we're gonna go ahead and I will run the wire like I said you're gonna need a wire from here to your battery then from here to the light the ground's gonna go automatically so I'm gonna get the soldering gun or the soldering yeah soldering gun whatever I'm gonna get that set up and get that hot so that I can start uh, soldering these wires to the battery and then start getting everything put together. Okay guys, so just to give you a quick recap of what I did here while we were on time lapse. There's your female. Black goes into the black of the light. 
you're going to have your red, one off of the light going into the switch, one coming off of the switch going into the red of the battery. That's going to be your connector here, okay? As you can see, flip this over. Um, this battery is not even charged. This battery is straight out of the package, and this is what I mean. That these things, like, I don't know, I guess it's just not much power drawn, but there you go. So this, because I don't have it wired up, it only has one way to go. If I go the other way, there's nothing there. Now, if I were to wire up those LEDs around there, I could have put it on the other switch, but I'm not trying to get crazy. So let's button up the glass, get this all put inside of there, and then go from there. And I did pick up some, this is some JB Weld for, uh, it's a clear epoxy, so that should allow me to put the glass back on there and make it nice and secure. Um, it's gonna get all held together by that stuff anyway, but I wanted to be sure. Mix us up some epoxy. I'm sure there's other better stuff to use than this, but this is what they had and I know it'll work. Just make sure you mix it the same. I don't think there's really a right side up or down with this so we're just going to place it in there like so I think what I'll do for right now is tape it up so it can dry so there we go lights back in on now we're going to put it back in its home um, like I said with the battery it helps if you have somewhere that you can pop this charger port out of so that you don't have to constantly take the battery or take the whole entire thing apart in order to get it out. So this one already has a grommet. I'm going to try to use it. It is a little small. I may have to cut it out a little because um, I'd like to keep the grommet if I can. Yeah, we'll just cut the inside of it out. Perfect. Now, get that out of there. And there you go. And this is, it'll sit right at the bottom of the headlight. You won't even see it. You want the battery down at the bottom anyway. There's not a whole lot of room in here. So we're gonna have to finagle it to get this battery to be okay where it's at. I'm gonna connect it. So that when I stick this in here, I can run these outside. Now here's where you want your headlight to be straight. There we go. So now I know this is out there. This is in there. The battery is down in there. It's not in the way. There we, go. And we can start putting... I'm going to put this together just so you guys have an idea. Um, you don't need to... You're not going to need to... Uh, worry about the tape right now. I'm gonna, I'll take it back apart and take the tape off. I want it to dry. Um, this has a locking ring. They're not all going to be like this. I'm going to plug this up so I don't lose it. Go over that. Okay, I had to jump off and fight with this for a second. Um, there was a lot, not a whole lot of room in the back of this headlight. So definitely be careful or expect a little bit of a fight. Um, but it's coming together. This will tighten this down. It'll keep the grill on. So everything will work out. So I'll get that as tight as I can. But you can see, like, that's a nice headlight. Like, that's a really cool headlight. Um, Luckily, I plugged everything in because I never want to take this apart again. So, as you guys can see, there's your light. 
super simple. Um, I'm going to button this, the rest of this up, but that gave you guys, I hope, a pretty good idea of putting a headlight together that they're not so bad. Um, I have on recent builds, I had put together headlights that were uh, already LED. So you can buy headlights that have a full LED face inside, but you're going to wire it up the exact same way. Um, I'm still working guys on figuring out when to post videos I'm watching my analytics to see when the best time is so I am working on that trying to put out more videos uh, than one a week um, so I'm trying to do stuff like this and then get back on the builds so I hope you guys enjoyed this please like and subscribe if you liked this if it helped you give me a thumbs up thanks again guys see you later